Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing good. So today we we are going to start with the microservices. In current market, there are various technologies are doing good and they are very stable. Then why this new emerging technology like microservices are coming? The question or the answer for this question is Yes, we always need improvement in each application, particularly in performance wise. In order to achieve the better performance, better scalability and better maintenance, the microservices is the best answer. So we, we are going to see what are these, what is the actual definition of microservices? What are the, its advantages? What are the, its challenges or the drawbacks and some more interesting facts about the microservices you can keep watching this space because we are going to see not only just conceptual part about the microservices but also we are going to see how to implement those in real time so let's start as i said in today's session we are going to see what is the definition of microservices we will also have some basic overview about the microservices architectural style of course in our upcoming sessions we, we are going to see what is the microservices architecture but not in today's session we will just learn what is the basic thing then what are the pros or what are the advantages of microservices and of course the very few the cons or drawbacks of microservices we are going to see. So let's start with the definition of microservices. Microservices is an approach to application development in which a large application is built as a suite of modular services. If we divide this definition we are into two parts like the first thing it's an approach microservices is an approach and the second part so we are going to see the it's an approach it's not like technology it's not a tool of course we are going to use the several technologies and tool to develop the microservices but microservices itself is an approach and the second part is it's our regular thing like large application divided into the small component and joined together so we are going to use an approach to build or to develop a large application with the help of the small modular services. So each modular service has a specific business goal. For example, if, if we have an application which performs addition of customer updating customer or deletion of customer so these are the three basic operations which we can do in the application or the complex application if we divide this application into small part like the each service has its one business goal that is for example for achieving adding updating and deleting we we'll create three microservices the first microservices will just deals with the adding of customer. The second microservices will just deal with the updating a customer. And the third microservices will do the deletion of a customer. So each microservice has its a one specific business goal. And the second thing or the second characteristic of the microservices is nothing but it is very simple and well defined interface. To communicate with each uh, with other sets of services what does it mean suppose I created a microservice for adding customer if I create another microservice of updating customer so these two microservices has potential to communicate with each other so if you see the overall definition of microservices it is a group of the microservices which has a specific business goal and also interact with each other. So that is simple definition of microservices. Then what is microservices architectural style? 
As I have said, microservices is an approach. On the same line, the microservices architecture style is also an approach to developing a single application as a suite of small services. So microservices and market, microservices architecture style, these are quite same terms or, or the those are two different terms for the same thing. Each service running in its own process and communicating with lightweight mechanism. So each service runs as its own single process. It is often an HTTP resource API. So if you have work on API development, so you might getting the what I'm trying to say. So each service most of the time is a HTTP resource API. These services are built around business capability. Like what are the business goals we are trying to achieve based on that these microservices are developed. This is independently deployable uh, by fully automated deployment machinery. So you can, it is very quickly easy to deploy these services. So these are the few characteristics of microservices architecture style. Then we are going to see the next thing that is nothing but what are the advantages and disadvantages of microservices. And that is nothing but pros and cons of microservices. So let's go ahead and see what are the pros of microservices. Very first is it's easy to deploy, requires less production time to deploy. So as we are going to deal with only micro component of your complex application. So it will be less time required for deploying in production environment. And also it will take less time for the maintenance of the production environment. Easy to scale. So you can deploy the same service on multiple server instances. It's reusable. You can use one web service, one microservice in other microservice, or you can use one microservice across the applications. Works well with the container such as Docker, and it is the famous or the well known for the microservices support for the cloud activities. Nowadays, every application like tends towards going for cloud. So the, the main the the main importance came into the picture of these microservices because they support the cloud. So you can develop, deploy the services in the cloud and you can access through the cloud also. So you can do the cloud computing also with this microservices. Microservices cons that is drawbacks. The very first is it is potentially too granular. So you'll be end up with the n number of microservices. So which can be more uh, challenging for the uh, maintenance perspective, maintenance of all these services I'm talking about. Then latency during heavy use, that is one of the drawback. And testing can be complex. So you need to involve your testing team all the phases as like your regular application development. However, you will have the more smaller components. So the testing will be little complicated. But the rest of the, if you see that it's a pros or advantages compared to advantages, the cons are very less. So definitely everything comes with some drawbacks. And these are, I would say these are the minor drawback compared to what benefit it gives to us. So these are the few basic concepts about the microservices. If you like this video, do not forget to hit the like button and keep watching this space because some more interesting facts and features we are going to discuss about the microservices in upcoming sessions. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice time.